Are you gonna eat chips the whole time while I'm doing this? I am. I'm just asking for yeah. a friend. Okay. All right, YouTube, welcome back. We've got an exciting night here in the late model garage. Get you guys caught up on a few things we didn't catch in the last film. Check out our awesome carburetor here. Looking spectacular, very shined up. Get a little extra light on there for you all. Got our new fuel pressure regulator installed. Looking good. The other side of the carb right here for you. This was put together by the legend for us, so it's completely rebuilt, basically brand new for our racing season this year, so we're very excited about that. Tonight, we have got our work cut out for us again as usual. In case uh, you guys haven't been following along, this project has taken quite some time, and uh, if it's your first time here, make sure you stop by and check out some of our other uploads. But for tonight, we're gonna get these headers put on, uh, we are going to, once the headers are all put on, we're going to start working on this nose piece. We're a little short some gray sheet metal to go ahead and cut these pieces here. We haven't decided. We might just go ahead and make them out of black. We've got lots of black and got like a half a sheet of gray left. So we're still trying to work through the pieces on it. We're going to go ahead and get this brand new nose piece buttoned up and see how our MD3 nose piece fits on it. And if we get that much done tonight, I'm going to be a happy camper. Drew, you got anything else you want to add to the situation? No. All right, chop, chop. Let's get to work then. Alright gang, we're checking back in with you right now. Sorry, we almost kind of forgot about you. It's Drew's fault. I blame Drew. Would you get the headers all put in? I can, just like they're supposed to, fit up real nice. We used high temp Permatex instead of a gasket this time. Uh, we used the Schoenfeld 602 gasket that came with the headers when we bought them for the uh, previous installation. However, I felt like when we removed them, there were still some restriction from that gasket. So we went with high temp Permatex to eliminate any possibilities. We've got our MD3 nose piece in here. Uh, we've had to make some changes. This is a brand new steel bumper piece down here. We showed you guys in some other videos. We bought this one from Masters Built. And uh, we're gonna have to make a few modifications, but we're getting there. We're getting the front nose put in. We still gotta get our floppers on and we gotta get our sheet metal cut for up here. But all in all, I think we're looking pretty good. We're right on target. It's getting a little late tonight. We're running out of steam. We're gonna see how much more we can get done. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us and we're gonna keep making it look more like a late model every day. All right, MD3 nose project, day two. Hard at work here. Drew's getting new life to the nose. New life to the nose. Yeah, we made the executive decision. We're not buying a new MD3 nose piece. We're going to buff up and shine and shine up what we got. She's got a little road rash in her. Yeah, she's, she's a little rough, but we're gonna shine it up and make it look the best we can. Put some of that McGuire's on there. What are we putting on there? Show, show them the secret sauce. Yeah, There's no McGuire's. secret sauce here at Late Model Garage. <laughs> There we go. You picked that up down there at the auto parts store. I'll show you what it looks like. He's already done the front nose here. 
Shoo! Look at that shine. Starting to get this piece mocked up here. Our goal for the morning is to wrap up this nose piece, which will probably wrap up the video that we started last night. And then sneak peek, we're getting into this starting like two hours. We got T minus two hours left on this. We're gonna wrap it up and keep moving forward. So once we're done with this, keep in mind, we're gonna start getting the sheet metal. It's gonna be finished. It's gonna be looking good. All right, hang Tim. We're gonna get right back with you when we start to assemble the floppers of the to the MD3 nose piece here together. can put the spring steel back in so quit making it move I know the flopper floppy it's floppy all right I there think we it, go I think it looks good the bolts in the bottom for where it's really thick pop rivets with backing washers because it's plastic and not metal it's gonna hold on fine we just gotta get the uh, spring steel put back in there yeah we've used this for what a couple seasons this one over here has been been replaced a couple of times but the left side outlast the right side three to one yeah if you guys are wondering these holes right here we had some overheating issues one time and we had decking all the way down around there and we just lifted it up let some air go in there uh but we got that issue under control so we're gonna patch that from behind and uh just run the sheet metal from or, across this lip right here nice and smooth we did have it come down here and it looked all funny but we're we're still rookies definitely still rookies all right gotta get the other side pinned in now get it done Got the garage open it's beautiful outside the nose project which should have taken two hours is i have become clear and obvious it's going to take the rest of the day uh we've got a lot of work to do just getting it buttoned up here and getting the floppers in there's we're not even close we're we're missing stuff we've got a long way to go <laughs> just blowing it out of proportion <laughs> gonna get this guy mocked up in here that's the next objective so stick around we're gonna keep on keeping on
All right, still outside, still working on the nose piece. Got a uh, special tool here that a fellow YouTuber sent to us. So we're pretty excited we'll finally get a chance to give this thing a whirl. Uh, this is for putting a heim finish on the uh, edge here, a hem finish on the edge. We're basically gonna take a quarter inch of sheet metal, roll it straight up and then roll it completely over. Uh, this tool's uh, gonna really help us get everything started. Uh, we have a bead roller and you can do that type of uh, edge on a straight piece and it works really well on the bead roller. But once you start getting into curves, you really kind of need to work the metal by hand. And uh, that's what we're going to do. This is our first attempt at using uh, this tool. This is by uh, James Deadman. I think that's how you pronounce the last. I hope I got that right. Uh, and maybe I can be awesome and get the link put up in the description above. Up there, I don't know. I don't think you'd be that talented either. But uh, we'll certainly make sure you get the link in the description. And uh, so we're going to get started using this tool. We're going to work the edge all the way around. Bend it up with the hammer and uh, finish it off, flattening it up in the bead roller. So uh, keep on keeping on. been all day at it getting the nose all friday all through saturday it's taking us just to get this far it sucks being amateur hour but that's just how it goes let me move this piece of wood you guys can see what it looks like here all right I'll give you guys a we've rolled this edge here so it's nice and smooth we also rolled this edge up here got our t-bar all in this edge is all rolled so we're all set we've got to bend some sheet metal we never even got to these pieces yet one day at a time we're gonna get there drew you got anything you want to say before we wrap it up here uh if you guys got any suggestions on how to um, bend some of these extra pieces uh we're willing to uh take advice uh we're not good at it it's really kind of uh something we don't like doing and we're not good at so it takes us a long time unfortunately but we're real close we're gonna get uh, a couple more pieces like you said and uh we'll have it done uh make sure you uh like and subscribe and hit the bell for the notifications maybe he'll put a bell up here something along those lines i don't we're think not, i'm that we're good we're not capable of doing that yet I, we're lucky to get the video out at this rate <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah, Stay thanks for hanging out with us for the weekend. This is going to be a wrap. We'll catch you next time. Thank you.